Hi, Hans. Um, we are back with our very last Science Mind Pole Vault video, and we have worked on Science Mind the Plant, the Run, the Basics, the Swing, the Turn, and now we are talking about the Pike. So, the Pike is what really gets you to save bars, and it's it's very important, but it's also not depending on like what level you're at. Because if you if you're doing everything that you possibly can be doing, and you just have the pike left, that's gonna save you a lot of inches. And I have a video to um, show you that. So the science behind it though is that all of your all of your energy is moving up, and you turn obviously, and you're still going up, and you're thinking. How can you get the farthest away from the bar possible? And or are you just going to keep your hips flat or are you going to push them up? So I'm going to show you a video. Okay, this is really bad form. My pike is just really good in this video. So that's why I chose it. So just ignore that. Sorry, something popped up. Oh my goodness. Everything is so, so greasy. Okay. Sorry about that. Let's focus on the phone instead of me. Okay. Terrible form right there. Let's not talk about it. But okay, see, it looks like I'm about to really miss this bar, right? Because look at that terrible form. Terrible, I'm shooting right out at the bar. That is not good whatsoever. But watch this change in events. The pike right there, that's what saved it. So here, what happens to the hips when they go over? Pike saved it, right? And then stay on. So, all of your energy is going up. And so if you turn, and the way your body works, you want it to be away from the bar. Okay, right? Away from the bar. Here. Let's see. That's a better picture. That's what you want to be looking like. Because if my hips were just flat, I don't know if I have a video of my hips being flat, but let me see... If my hips are more flat, I'm gonna knock it right off. Okay, here's one where I don't pike as well. We've seen this video before, there I am, over there, okay. See, you don't see my butt up at all in this vault. Oh, we're gonna go back. And you're just gonna watch it. Okay, and I don't pike as much, so I'm gonna take that right off with me. Because I'm not using the energy and the way that my body is formed to help me with the with the skill. So along with that, um, we're gonna talk about throwing the pole. So after we're piking, you want to let go of the pole, okay? Let go of the pole. If you hold on to the pole, where is it gonna go? On top of you, it's gonna take the bar down, the bar's gonna fall on you. You have to let go. You have to push and then you throw your bottom hand because it's the farthest away. So bottom hand, top hand, and then you fly away is what we call it. But if you don't let go, or if you just let go and you don't push it, because I mean, I guess I say let go, but I guess I push it, um, the bar is going to come back and it's going to hit the bar and it's going to knock it off. I mean, the pole is going to come back, it's going to hit the bar and knock it off. And that counts as a miss. Even if you clean cleared it completely, but if you didn't throw your pole when it hits the bar, that is a miss. I actually did that back in, um, I can show you guys this video because this was me when I was a freshman in high school. So don't judge it because it is terrible i mean i don't know who said i think that you should record this video and keep it forever because yeah it's bad like it's really bad so i'm just going to show you the end though okay here is me see the pole see in which direction it's going okay i'm over it perfectly fine watch this see my pole it's coming closer to me knocked it down and that was my third attempt and I missed it I they didn't count it as a clear even though I did clear it and I went over it so those are two really big important things especially at the end and yes you can mess up some at the beginning and fix the end with the pike because like I showed you I shot out really bad I didn't invert on that one but I flipped over and piked so it saved me not the best way obviously but it, it can save some vaults here and there so it's important to know if you mess up on one part to know another part and get that down really good because it can save you. 
And the the science behind the pole coming to you is literally just the momentum of the pole. You have to switch that momentum or it will continue to go on top of you. So I hope in this series you learned a lot about pole vault, especially if you are a pole vaulter. And obviously I'm not an expert or a pro, I just do it in college. Um, and I have studied it literally this entire summer. And last summer I've been to camps, so I don't know everything, obviously. I'm not Katie Moon, but I feel like this could be helpful for people who want to know more about the sport and understand it in a deeper way than just watching it and being like, oh, that's so hard. It is hard, but it's a lot of technique and a lot of science, actually. So I think it's really interesting, and I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope that this was a fun series to watch for you, and let me know what other series I should do after this. So, XOXO.